Hey, my honey so today we are diving into this 613 bob with a closure i'm just using that um bare head spray and like i always say the difference between that and the gots to be is nothing so um if you can get your hands on gots to be you can use that as well but i'm putting that spray on her hairline and i'm making sure that she dries it so therefore the hair doesn't wrinkle back up and then curl and be in my way when I lay that glue so the whole purpose is to get the hairs out the way so that your hair doesn't have to have any contact with that glue because we know that glue will yank the midges right on out my honeys Now, when it comes to the cap, my honeys, you want to make sure that you pull that cap all the way down as tightly as possible. So, therefore, you can get a good stretch on it. And, therefore, underneath your lace, it will definitely look more natural versus a bulky cap, okay? It would just look um, like it's there. You can see I'm using the Gosta B gel to go along the uh, hairline of that cap so it would just stay down my honey and I'm putting it around to the back of the ear even though I'm only using a closure I just wanted to keep the cap on because she still is getting 613 tracks put in as well and as I blow dry that around that ear I just um, held it down my honey because it was lifting and she came with a 613 funnel HD lace 4x5 and she got it from the hair store so um plucking it now just to make it look more natural as I go through plucking it my honey I'm going to part from the hairline and go back each time and pluck another line another line another line and therefore that's how you're going to get it to look as natural as possible so maybe I went back at least three parts okay but you can go back four parts five parts and make that whole frontal look like what lace okay <laughs> Now, I had used the spray bottles, my honeys, with just water in it, and that just helps you to tame the hairs and um, place them exactly where you need them to be. So you can also see your process as well um, and how good you plucked it. So the water is going to help you pluck it, okay? It helps them hairs to come right out, and you won't be um, worrying about ripping your lace. And it also helps to mold the hair in place. So therefore, um, you don't have all that extra work to do. And then you can also just see your progress. Now, when I go in and cut off my cap, my honeys, I don't cut that band immediately because the minute you cut that band, it will, um, you know, start to roll back and it could pull at that edge and um, potentially lift your cap. So um, I don't cut the band, I make a hole and then I cut everything and then I cut the band last. Those are my three colors that I have. I think I have four of those little um, concealer packets where um, they're each a different color. So I just kind of match it up to her skin and use the color that matches her. Then I go in with uh, a darker color on top just to make sure it's blended because it's already, it's always better, my honeys, to have it to look darker than you versus too light because then you'll be able to see that cap underneath there and you got to clean off that excess with alcohol so i have also um you know different shades of the lace tint so i use that medium brown and this is the dark brown and i'm just you know coloring the lace to see which one matches her so i feel like i had went with the um, medium brown no the dark brown i went with the dark brown and that matched her so therefore now i just saturate the lace with it and then my honeys i'll go in with the um hairspray which is the bed head or you can use the yellow can okay got to be 
and that's just going to seal in the concealer so therefore the oils would not come out and affect your um, glue once you go to lay that lace down i am cutting off these little bands off of the lace just typically around the hairline area where you know you will lay your baby hairs because you don't want that thick old band um you know to make it look wiggy okay you want it to look as natural as possible so i just cut them things right on off and um your baby hairs will lay flawlessly instead of having like a little hump in it you know when you swoop it over and you'll be swooping it over that band and it could appear to have a hump in it or look a wrinkle so it just help it to be flawless i'm using the ghost bond okay i've been using ghost bond since i even been doing laces at first i was just using that gospel beat but now i um been using the ghost bond i remember one of my honey said they wanted a video on the um i think it's called isha glue it's isha or yeah i think it's isha glue i did end up purchasing that my honey so we will be doing uh not a review but we will be testing that out soon so i put that first layer of glue down just to kind of put my cap make my cap lay flat and then i put the lace over just to see how much width i need to actually lay my glue because you don't want too much glue you don't want to go over the um area that you need okay you want to be right within where you're going to lay that closure or frontal because when you go to lay your baby hairs and you're trying to lay them over that glue okay that will get in your way of that and it will be sticky and it will just turn out to could be a mess okay it won't hurt anything but it's just you know i measured it out with the glue so now i think i did about three layers of that glue i let it um you know turn clear you don't have to let it turn completely clear but you do not want it clumpy white so if it is still white my honey just make sure it's not clumpy white because when you lay that lace over it those clumps is glued it's not dry and it's going to come through that lace and it could affect the um, natural lookingness of that lace. Now that you have secured your lace down my honeys um since this is a pronto we are just going to be gluing that lace down you want to pull it tautly okay on the sides you don't want to pull it backwards my honeys because um you will be pulling that lace from the hairline and um uh, it could start you know lifting back so i just use that white glue it's a dollar at the hair store put it along that um band and then I blow dry to dry. When you blow dry a track dry, my honeys, you don't have to worry about that track going anywhere versus letting it air dry, it take longer. So when you go combing on it, it could potentially slip. But if you blow dry each track, it seems like it has a better hold. You know, it, it's bonded, <laughs> okay? So she has 10 inches. She bought two packs of a 10 inch 613. I don't know that brand, my honeys, but it also came from the hair store. So I had a little piece that wasn't down. I just went in with a little bit of the um, ghost bond. And I think I did two. Uh, I applied it on it twice. So I put a little dot and then I let it dry. And then I put another dot. And then I laid the lace. That way I know it's secure or whatever. She won't have an issue with that um, later down the line. So now we're just going to cut this lace off. And then we're just going to try to start the magic, my honey. So that what lace look. go in with the spray my honeys to um you know kind of help lock and load that lace down and it also takes away that ashy look of that lace as well so i'm dabbing that cotton ball on there to take off the excess because once you spray it on it pretty much goes through the little holes of that lace 
and that's all where you really want it you don't want it to be sitting on top and then you throw that band on there and then when you take that band off then that lace is looking crunchy so <laughs> you just want to make sure you get off the access of it and um so the band won't really be that stuck to the um hair and these are my lashes my honeys i will leave a link to um where you can purchase them which is kale's hair and beauty dot com okay that's the style 44 so i forgot the name of 44 but at least when you go on the website i think it shows you the picture the name and also the number so i took that band off my honeys and i pulled it as far as it was stretched before i actually took it up off the lace so that therefore none of the extra um excess crunchiness will be stuck to the lace and then i had to uh, comb out them crunchy little um <laughs> baby hairs because of course you sprayed that spray on there so it's a bit crunchy <laughs> but now i'm just gonna go along the um lace and i'm parting it so therefore we can make it as flat as possible my honey so i'm gonna um use my straightening comb to hit it right on that band because that band has the thickest hair throughout the whole lace okay so they put the most hair right there so that it will cover the band and you won't actually see it so it's very thick so i am definitely parting it right above that band and therefore um it will have a more flat looking uh, lay and i'm also going in right here my honeys and combing out any crunchy okay anything that was stuck to glue anything that is going to prevent me from doing um some flawless baby hairs okay so you just want to go in and kind of comb everything and blend it with the tracks or whatever I'm using the She Is Bomb wax stick, my honeys. I love this wax stick. I ain't gonna say that, oh, you just gotta have this wax stick, though. It's just that I have had it, and I've had it for a while. So, um, I use it, and I part these sections out through a lace just to get it to have even more of a flat lay versus me putting that water on there and everything. So, that wax, just give it also an extra hold, uh, you know, to stay in place. And then I'm spraying this um, mist on there because I'm going to go in and blow dry it, my honey. And I want this hair to be straight as possible when I go to flat iron it. So it's kind of, that ain't nothing but like a leave-in conditioner. But anything wet, okay. I just used something that was wet. And I went on and blow dried it out so that the hairs won't just be stringy hairs here and there. And you know how you blow dry uh, your hair out without anything and it be looking stringy you know you had them little strings and then when you flat on it you got them strings on there if you don't um blow dry it out with something so i put the little um oil on there too my honey just to also help with those little flyaway strings that you would usually get when you flat on and stuff like that so therefore it's going to come out as straight as possible so i mean that's probably a well-known fact but i said i gotta figure something out to get rid of these little flyaways when i'm done with my style you know and i don't want to have to spray spritz on it just to get them to lay down so 
this works absolutely perfectly mine so I'm combing my um, you know hair exactly how I want it to lay because you know once you put that heat on it, it's pretty much stuck okay it's molded so I combed it going back and um, now I'm just flat ironing the closure to blend with the tracks okay so you kind of want to pick up some hair from the track as well um, just to kind of blend them all together or whatever if you just do it by itself and comb it that'll be fine but it just helps to you know keep it all molded together that's what the heat does so you can see the big difference from the both sides or whatever just uh, flat ironing it out after spraying it after putting the oils and everything it was nice and smooth so now we're just going in for the cut my honeys and she wanted the blunt cut so I just use you know a guide I take a piece from the previous cut piece and I use that and I just straighten my fingers out with it and boom okay so they tell you hair school don't go past the second knuckle but my fingers are so long my honeys and I be trying to get done I'm cutting okay <laughs> I'm not worried about them knuckles and none of that I'm not letting none of that bother me okay but yeah we're gonna go all from left to right right to left and then whatever is not right my honey we're gonna go back in and cut this thing until it's perfect okay perfect think you're done once you do cut your bob and you got it exactly how you want it and it's perfect and all you have to make your client or at least you you know however you do it you put your head down and then you get them little hairs that's up under there because if you don't get that my honey it's not even gonna flow right okay when the wind blow it's gonna be stuck in your shirt and all type of stuff because them little hairs be stuck okay so you just put your head down cut that stuff off give it a shake to see exactly where you're at and if you don't see anything that is in the way then you're fine my honey so we're moving along to baby hairs and i'm going to use the mousse with this process so um you can go in and kind of use the got to be gel and then you know blow dry as you go that way them edges ain't going nowhere and also my honey's um you ain't got to worry about it lifting up because you know that mousse starts to melt in there and it starts to mess up and affect that glue okay so now you sitting here with this lace that doesn't look like a what lace because all this and that but if you do it quick enough by the time you tie it back down my honeys and let it dry completely not just halfway or anything you have to let it dry completely okay it would lay and it would stay just exactly how it was that glue would not have been bothered by that mousse okay but you got to be quick and you got to make sure that you already had it molded out um with the um what is it my honeys <laughs> with the uh straightener comb okay so let the straightener comb do most of the work and then the mousse should just you know flow and have them baby hairs looking good so don't forget my honeys also to go check out the website and purchase you a head strip okay i call it an edge strip i don't even know what to call them at this point but <laughs> it's an edge strip and make sure you know you go purchase one if you haven't already and you know we have bonnets over there and lashes and all of the above my honey so 
leave me a comment okay if you like how this style came out i absolutely love it love it it's flexible okay stiff wear all of that it's the bob for me my honeys so make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell and at this point in the video i will see my honey on the next one okay my honeys bye guys love you guys Mwah.